Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest from Nick Isles. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is long, about 45 minutes. You'll need to be able to defeat a level 122 Troll King and 10 Rock Throwing Ice Trolls in multi combat. The requirements for this quest include 20 construction, 40 agility, and completion of the Fremnic Trials quest. The required items for this quest include raw tuna, 9 ropes, bronze nails, hammer, needle, thread, knife, 8 split logs which you can buy in the GE or obtainable through the quest with 56 wood cutting, 2 arctic logs or Fremnic shield, noted ores depending on your mining level, 8 tin for levels 1 through 10, 7 coal for levels 11 through 54, or 6 mithril ore for levels 55 and plus. Good melee combat gear. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 46 crafting for making yak hide armor, but not necessary as you can buy the yak hide body and legs in the GE, ring of life, stamina potion 4 or super energy potions, prayer potions, good food like pineapple pizzas or sharks. Enchanted Lyre with at least two charges or two home teleports to Relica. Before the guide starts, be aware that there is a bank on each of the islands, so carrying most things are unnecessary, but always keep your food, potions, and teleports on hand. You begin the quest by teleporting to Relica either by playing an Enchanted Lyre or using a home teleport set for Relica. If you need to change the location of your house, go to any of the real estate agents in RuneScape to change it for a fee of 10,000 GP. Note, you need 30 construction to do this. If you don't have either of these methods, then teleport to Catherby and follow the road straight north. Once in Relica, follow the map provided to talk to Mord Gunners, who is located at the most northern dock in the town. Ask to be taken to Yatizo. Once there, bank to get your raw tuna and noted ores if you don't have them already on hand. Head next door to the west to King Juki Sorvat IV, which is listed as number one on the map provided. Talk to the king, but your conversation will be interrupted by his cat who is hungry. Finish the conversation by spamming the spacebar and use a raw tuna on the cat so he'll leave you alone. Talk to him once more to give him your ores in exchange for coins. After this, open the chest behind the king's throne and take the jester's hat, top, tights, and boots. Put them on now. Head back to Relica by talking again to Mord Gunners who is located at the harbor that you arrived at in Yatizo. Once in Relica, right-click on Maria, Mord's wife, to travel to Natiznat. Follow the map just north of the bank and talk to the jester Slug Hemlickson. Ask free stuff, please. He'll give you an assignment to listen in on the king's conversation. Head over to number two on the map just south of the bank to talk to King Manas Buragar. A cutscene will occur and you'll be prompted to perform for the king using the menu that will appear in your inventory. Follow whatever instructions the king asks you to do, which will be located above his head, since it's different for everyone. The guards will be talking about an assault into the caves, but don't worry about paying attention to this conversation. Once complete, talk to Slug again, who will ask, have you obtained the information we acquire? Answer, yes I have. Then answer his questions about the assault. The answers are, they will be ready in two days. Seventeen militia have been trained, and there are two bridges to repair. Now is the time to bank. Remove your jester outfit and bring any combat gear and food you would like. You won't have to fight anything at this point, but the trolls you will pass are aggressive and hit quite hard as they hit a 15 on me fully geared. Also bring 8 of your 9 ropes, knife, and 8 split logs. If you didn't buy these in the GE, then cut some arctic pine trees nearby and split them on the stump in the middle of the village. Go back to King Manus and talk to him. He will give you an assignment to fix the bridges nearby as well as give you money. Use the map and head towards number 3. You may be attacked by the trolls, but don't worry about fighting them. Right click on the post of the bridge and use the repair option. Don't touch anything until your character ends up on the other side of the bridge. Repeat this step for number 4. Once complete, head back to Manus who will reward you and will also ask for you to investigate the caves, but first you need to make sure that King Juki on Yatizo doesn't take it the wrong way. Bank your combat gear if you'd like, since you'll have to do a lot of running back and forth in the next part of the quest. Now you need to head back to Yatizo. Go to Maria at the harbor and go back to Relica, then more to travel to Yatizo and talk to King Juki again. He asks you to collect new window taxes for him. Use the map provided to collect the taxes from the various citizens and when prompted, add in the correct tax amount and then use the option, but rules are rules, pay up. 8,000 from Hring Hring in the Armorer's Hut, 6,000 from Scully in the Weaponsmith Hut, 5,000 from Flossie in the Fish General Store, and 5,000 from Van Linga at the Eating Hall. 
If you'd like to access the black market for yak goods after the quest, pay the 5000 in taxes for her. Go back to the king who now wants you to collect a facial hair tax. Visit Hring Hring and Rom in the armor hut, Scully in the weaponsmith hut, Flossy and Keppa in the fish general store. There is no need to add any amounts this time, but still choose the pay up option again. Your tax bag should now have 29,000 coins. If so, return to the king and give him the taxes. Now retrieve your jester clothes from the bank. Put them on and head back to Slug and Nate's not to receive another assignment. Again, talk to Monas to start another cutscene. Follow the commands the king asked for. Return back to Slug. He'll ask you if you are ready to make your report. Answer yes, I am. And answer his questions with, they are in a secluded bay near Isetaria. They'll be given some potions. And I have been helping Nate is not. Now head back to King Sorva and Jatizo to update him on the situation. He is upset with the news and asks you to deliver a decree to King Manus, so go back to King Manus without your jester clothes on. If you already have the Yakite armor and the Fremnik shield, then skip the video here to the next part. At this point, bank your jester clothes for last time and grab your needle, thread, bronze nails, hammer, rope, and two arctic logs and 15 coins. Talk to the king again where you will be asked to create yak hide armor. Head southwest outside of the gate to find yaks and kill them until you receive three yak hides. Return a Thakrad located in the same building as the king and say, cure my yak hide please, then cure all my hides. Once cured, use the needles on the hides to craft into yak hide chaps and yak hide body, which is the most effective armor against trolls. Talk to the king again to learn how to make a Fremnik shield. Click on the stump in the middle of the village and choose the Fremnik round shield option. Now you'll have to fight trolls, so equip your yak hide armor and shield. Go to the bank to collect your choosing of gloves, boots, helmet, amulet, and melee weapon of your choice since magic and range have no effect on the Ice King. Also bring a superset, ring of life for an emergency teleport, prayer potions, and fill up on good food like pineapple pizzas or sharks. You'll be heading to the most northeastern part of the isle which is located on the map as number 5. As you get closer to the dungeon, more and more trolls will hit you, so it's a good idea to use Protect from Melee until you enter the cave. A cutscene will occur where King Manus's men need help killing 10 trolls. You will not be able to continue the quest until the trolls are dead. At this point, do not continue the cutscene. It is important that I go over some key details before we start the fight. First off, let the soldiers do most of the work for you, so only kill trolls that are near death. Protect from Melee and Protect from Range are really helpful against the trolls since this is a multi-combat area. You may run out of food fast, but if you go to Bork who is near the cave entrance, he'll supply you with extra food, prayer potions, and strength potions. However, you can only have one request for each. Once you have completed the 10 kills, the message window will notify you, but is easily missed so pay attention to it. Head south towards another bridge while trolls continue to attack you, but don't worry about fighting them. Before you cross the bridge, make sure to only turn on your protect from magic and top up on prayer if you need to. If you die in this room, you will not be able to pick up the drop items since this is an instance room. Use your supersets and any special attacks to kill the Troll King faster. Once the Troll King is dead, be sure to click on his body to decapitate him. No need for a knife here, you just pull it off using your amazing strength. Once you have the head, you can return the way you came, but it is much easier to teleport out using your Relica Home Teleport or your Enchanted Liar. Return back to King Monus, who lets you choose two choices of 10,000 experience in attack, strength, defense, or hit points and complete your quest. Congratulations! You have received one quest point. Fremnic Royal Helm, also known as the Helm of Natesnot, access to a runite vein in the northwestern part of Natesnot, 5,000 crafting experience, 5,000 construction experience, 10,000 woodcutting experience, and 10,000 experience in two combat skills, strength, attack, defense, or hit points. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.